Hello traders and welcome to another episode of our video series. So today we're going to discuss about objectivity versus subjectivity. So firstly, let's define what objective means. Objective simply means that you have proper facts, you have proper data that will uh, simply give you all the same answers across the board. For example, if there are more than two or three people, and this is an example of pure objectivity, if you see the color of my shirt, this is dark blue. Everybody should be able to see this dark blue unless you are colorblind. Now, what if someone says that's not dark blue, that's orange. Now we have a problem, then that's no longer purely objective. That's now being subjective. Subjective simply means that now you're using your own perception based on what you think and what you see fit. So when you're doing your technical analysis, please stop doing this. I want you, especially with drawing trend, drawing trend lines. There is a specific way of drawing trend lines objectively, which I'm going to give you right now. All right, hi guys. So uh, first, let's define uh, what objective and subjective means. So uh, actually, we George, we define that, right? So number one, we define what objective and subjectivity simply means. Uh, two, let's give an example talking about trend lines. First, we let, let's define what uh, a trend line is, mainly an uptrend and a downtrend. Okay, so if i'm going to ask you that question what is an uptrend or a downtrend well an uptrend is simply a series of higher highs and higher lows okay so higher highs and higher lows so that's mainly the definition of an uptrend so very important to know um what's a higher high and higher low simply in price there's four different um, variables, right? You have an open price, a closing price, a high price, and a low price. Number two, let's define what uh, a downtrend is. Here is simply a series of lower lows and lower highs. Okay, so that is what a downtrend is. And let's also define what a series is. A series simply dictates, you know, uh, in terms of definition, there has to be a minimum of two. So a series of two things. So if you have two or more, then that is a series. Okay, so let's uh, go through this. Uh, old school way, well, not old school way, the way I've been taught basically in the past in order to draw a Trend line is by what they have told me is that basically in the past, this was when I started to learn how to trade. If you touch numerous lower highs, then you can basically dictate that. You'll see there, then you have basically a downtrend. And that if you simply connect as many lower highs as possible, then you'll have, that's how you basically draw uh, an uptrend line and a downtrend line. To draw a downtrend line is simply connecting all the lower highs and that if you draw an uptrend line, then you connect all the higher lows. All right, so for those who are new, if you're new to trading um, and you don't know what a downtrend is and what a series of higher highs and higher lows simply means. A series of higher highs and higher lows simply means this. See here you have a low, you have a high, a low, um, and that's basically it. So I didn't even want to do that, right? So there's no high. Um, however, if I'm just taking all these, you have a bunch of higher highs and you have a bunch of higher lows. So this is basically saying it's in an uptrend, all right? So you have a series of higher lows and higher highs. What is a downtrend? A downtrend is simply a series of lower highs and a series of lower lows. 
meaning that the low price is lower compared to the previous lows, meaning that the high price is lower compared to the previous highs. So you have a lower high and a lower low. And uptrend, on the other hand, is a series of higher highs where someone was willing to buy at a very expensive price point prior, prior to the last high. So you have a higher high, meaning that someone was willing to purchase at a higher price compared to the previous high. Higher low simply means that someone was willing to uh, sell it at a higher price compared to the previous low. Okay, so in other words, a seller wasn't willing to drop the price down because it knows that the price of a particular asset is worth more than anything. Okay, so that is mainly what a downtrend and an uptrend simply means a series of higher highs and higher lows. Okay, so if that is mainly the definition of it, then how can you draw trend lines objectively? Okay, let me just clear all this and let me add in a, a different chart. Okay, so let me go through here in terms of the euro against the US dollar. Well, to draw things objectively, I am, um, which I learned this, by the way, after being on the trading floor and finally I realized that, ah, that makes sense. So if you really wanna be objective, and um, actually one of my mentors been in the past uh, said, hey, you know, you need to draw your trend lines more objectively. That is not the right way of doing things, not the right way of drawing your trend lines. I'm like, hmm, makes sense. So the process I'm going through you, with you right now is the same process in terms of what I learned. Uh, basically from professional traders, okay? So, because you're on your trading floor, mind you, you don't see charts. You see two institutions buying and selling instantaneously, basically there and then. So I go into an auction house. Now, if you're a retail trader, then you need a chart. You know, that that's basically could be very so subjective because you only do things the way you see fit based on what you see on the actual chart itself. Okay, so how do you draw a downtrend line objectively? Well, first, you need to identify where the highs are. And then from those identification of the highs or the major highs, that creates basically a peak. Mind you, a peak is, you need three points to create a peak. So just you want to imagine three bars that creates that high, that creates a higher high, and a lower high. The midpoint, that's your peak. So similar to this, these are my peaks, okay? So very important base to note. So if I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna put in a, uh, an extension right, right there. So this is the last high within the whole chart. I'm gonna click that high and I'm gonna connect it to the most recent, like basically from here, this midpoint there, see how it's cutting across. I don't want anything that basically is cutting across. I want the price for the most recent right there. So that's how you draw a downtrend line or a downtrend line in particular objectively. How about an uptrend? Well, in an uptrend, there's nothing here because you have a bunch of lower lows. So I'm going to connect and find the last low of the whole chart. To create the, or to find the lows or what we call the troughs, you need also three bars. So those three bars, by the way, here, one, two, three. You need a lower low and a higher low. The midpoint, the, the candle that's in the middle, that is your trough, okay? So in this particular case, that, that is it. And then on this, and this. To, to make things objectively, by the way, is looking at the numbers. Mind you, the numbers, they never lie. Okay, that's what, you find evidence, find facts, look at the numbers. All right, so how do I draw now a, uh, an uptrend line? By connecting the troughs or flows. I've identified that. If I'm gonna connect that one, notice that it cut across through this portion. So I don't want that. I want to go through right there. Uh, 
Actually, let me put the magnet tool to make it more purely objective. Right there. So let me double check that this is the actual low. Watch these numbers right here. You have opening price, high price, low price, closing price. What is the low of this one? 105.693. The one prior to that, 105803. So this low is lower compared to that one. What's this low? 0602. Definitely this low is higher compared to that. Meaning that if you want to know more about price, someone, a seller was willing to sell lower compared to the previous low right there to uh, a buyer. Okay. And then from here, the seller wasn't willing to sell it lower compared to the previous one. So that is a clear cut that there is a something is happening that could be a potential change of price from the downside to the upside. Okay. So why are trends so important? Trends are trend lines are so important because they also act as your support and resistance to the upside to define base of the trend. So for example, let's go through here after the notice here. After that breakout, your trend line also be utilized and used as a, a support or resistance. In this particular case, that used to be a resistance became now a support. So after that breakout, and that's also how actually breakouts actually happen. And notice in terms of the separation of price from the trend line. Somewhere sometime, uh, the price will touch that trend line somewhere sometime basically in the future. By law, they have to do that. Okay, so let's go through and see when was the time that it got basically that this trend line got touched. Bam. So from here, April 10th, 2017, May 28, 2018. A year later, price after notice in terms of separation, it did come back down to touch that uptrend line. All right, so that is how you draw trend lines objectively. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to join our trading community, feel free via Telegram. The link is also below. You can also follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. All right, guys, take care until next time. Happy trading. Peace.